The Kalachakra Sanskrit, Kalachakra, Tibetan, Wiley, Dus Kyi, Kor Lo, Mongolian, Kuk Kj Naudain Tsogt Sajian Herden, Chinese, Shi Lun is a term used in Vajrayana Buddhism that means, Wheels of Time. Kalachakra is one of many tantric teachings and esoteric practices in Tibetan Buddhism. It is an active Vajrayana tradition, and has been offered to large public audiences. The tradition combines myth and history, whereby actual historical events become an allegory for the spiritual drama within a person, drawing symbolic or allegorical lessons for inner transformation towards realizing Buddha nature. The most important texts of this tradition include Kalachakra Tantra and Vimalaprabha. The tradition's roots are in India, but its most active history and presence has been in the monasteries of Tibet. The tradition is a form of non-dualism, and devotees of the tradition believe that the Kalachakra was taught by Gautama Buddha himself. <laughs> Kalachakra tradition Kalachakra refers both to a patron tantric deity or yidam of Vajrayana Buddhism and to the philosophies and meditation practices contained within the Kalachakra Tantra and its many commentaries. The Kalachakra Tantra is more properly called the Kalachakra Lahutantra, and is said to be an abridged form of an original text, the Kalachakra Mulatantra which is no longer extant. Some Buddhist masters assert that Kalachakra is the most advanced form of Vajrayana practice, it certainly is one of the most complex systems within Tantric Buddhism. The Kalachakra tradition revolves around the concept of time kala, and cycles chakra, from the cycles of the planets, to the cycles of human breathing, it teaches the practice of working with the most subtle energies within one's body on the path to enlightenment. The Kalachakra deity represents a Buddhahood and thus omniscience. Since Kalachakra is time and everything is the flow of time, Kalachakra knows all. Kalakakri, his spiritual consort and complement, is aware of everything that is timeless, not time-bound or out of the realm of time. In Yab Yum, they are temporality and are temporality conjoined. Similarly, the wheel is without beginning or end. The term, wheel, evoked herewith is a principal polyvalent sign, teaching tool, organizing metaphor and iconographic device within Indian religions. Some wheel cognates are the Astamangala symbol of the Dharmachakra, Vishnu's Sudarshana chakra and the theory of samsara. Kalachakra refers to many different traditions, for example, it is related to Hindu Shaiva, Samkhya, Vaishnava, Vedic, Upanishadic and Puranic traditions and also to Jainism. The Kalachakra mandala includes deities which are equally accepted by Hindus, Jains, and Buddhists. The Kalachakra deity resides in the center of the mandala in his palace, consisting of four mandalas, one within the other, the mandalas of body, speech, and mind, and in the very center, wisdom and great bliss. The Kalachakra Sand Mandala is dedicated to both individual and world peace and physical balance. The Dalai Lama explains, it is a way of planting a seed, and the seed will have karmic effect. One doesn't need to be present at the Kalachakra ceremony in order to receive its benefits. Topic. Kalachakra Tantra The Kalachakra Tantra is a key text of the Kalachakra tradition. It is divided into five chapters. Topic: <laughs> Ground Kalachakra The first two chapters are considered the Ground Kalachakra 
The first chapter deals with what is called the outer Kalakakra. The physical world and in particular the calculation system for the Kalakakra calendar, the birth and death of universes, our solar system and the workings of the elements. The second chapter deals with the inner Kalakakra and concerns processes of human gestation and birth, the classification of the functions within the human body and experience, and the Vajra Kaya, the expression of human physical existence in terms of channels, winds, drops and so forth. Human experience is by some described in terms of four mind states, waking, dream, deep sleep, and a fourth state which is available through the energies of sexual orgasm. The potentials drops which give rise to these states are described, together with the processes that flow from them. <laughs> Path and fruition The last three chapters describe the other or alternative Kalakakra and deal with the path and fruition. The third chapter deals with the preparation for the meditation practices of the system, the initiations of Kalakakra. The fourth chapter explains the actual meditation practices themselves, both the meditation on the mandala and its deities in the generation stage practices, and the perfection or completion stage practices of the six yogas of Kalakakra. The fifth and final chapter describes the state of enlightenment that results from the practice. Topic. Prophecy Topic. Holy War The Kalakakra Tantra contains passages that refer to Islam, calling Muslims as Emelikcha barbarians. It contains the prophecy of a holy war between Buddhists led by the 25th warrior king Chakravartin Kalki and the barbarians. According to John Newman, the Buddhists who composed the Kalakakra Tantra likely borrowed the Hindu concept of Kalki and adapted the concept. They combined their idea of Shamhala with Kalki to reflect the theo-political situation they faced after the arrival of Islam in Central Asia and Western Tibet. The text prophecies a war fought by an army of Buddhists and the destruction of the Muslim persecutors of Dharma, then after the victory of good over evil and attainment of religious freedoms, Kalki ushers in a new era, one of the most important Buddhist commentaries on Kalachakra Tantra, named Vimalaprabha and dated to the 11th century, provides further details of this holy war. The Vimalaprabha mentions an event in the year. 403 in Tibetan number symbols stating it to be the year of the Lord of the Barbarians. This combined by the text's statement that Muhammad is the incarnation of Al Rahman and the teacher of the Barbarian Dharma, states Newman, suggests that the 403 year must be in the era of Hedra, or equal 1012 to 1013 CE. The many Tibetan translations of the Kalachakra Tantra and the commentaries therein, according to Alexander Berzing, mention practices such as the barbarians slaughtering cattle while reciting the name of its god, the veiling of women, circumcision, and five daily prayers facing their holy land, all of which leaves little doubt that the prophecy part of the text is referring to Islam. Further, this supports the dating of this Kalachakra tradition text to the 11th century by Tibetan and Western scholars, and linking it to the history of Buddhism of that period. The Kalachakra was introduced into Tibet in 1027 CE according to Tibetan records and per the Rabjung calculations of the Tibetan astronomical calendrical calculations. Topic. Symbolic inner war 
Another interpretation of Kalakakra's prophecy is that it refers to internal war against mental and emotional aggression. 15th century Gelug commenter Kadrubja interprets holy war symbolically, teaching that it mainly refers to the inner battle of the religious practitioner against barbarian tendencies. Cosmology and calendar The phrase, "'As it is outside, so it is within the body' is often found in the Kalakakra Tantra to emphasize the similarities and correspondence between human beings and the cosmos. In Tibet, the Kalakakra text is the basis of Tibetan astrological calendars. It is luni solar system and employs complicated astronomical calculations to determine, for example, the exact location of the planets. The text also is the basis of some Tibetan astrology manuals. Topic: <laughs> History and Origin. Topic. Original teaching in India and later teachings in Kingdom of Shamhala According to the Kartan system of time calculation in the Kalachakra tradition, Buddha is believed to have died about 833 BCE. According to the Kalachakra Tantra, the Buddha taught the first Kalachakra root tantra in Dharanikota near modern Amaravati in 5th century BC of southeastern India, supposedly bilocating, appearing in two places at once at the same time as he was also delivering the Prajnaparamita Sutras at. Ridraj Parvat in Bihar. Along with King Suchandra, 96 minor kings and emissaries from Shamhala were also said to have received the teachings. The Kalakakra thus passed directly to Shamhala, where it was held exclusively for hundreds of years. Later kings of Shamhala, Manjushrakirti and Pundarika, are said to have condensed and simplified the teachings into the Sri Kalakakra or Lahutantra and its main commentary, the Vimalaprabha, which remain extant today as the heart of the Kalakakra literature. Fragments of the original Tantra have survived, the most significant fragment, the Sekadesha, was commented upon by Naropa. Manjusrikirti Tibetan Wiley Jam Deepal Grags Pa THL Jambe Drakpa is said to have been born in 159 BCE and ruled over Shamhala and 100,000 cities in his domain lived 300,510 Lalo Matagpa Emelikcha Yavana with heretical beliefs in Nimai Sinta son he expelled all these heretics from his dominions but they accepted the Pitakas Buddhist texts and pleaded that they be allowed to return. He accepted their petitions and taught them the Kalakakra teachings. In 59 BCE he abdicated his throne to his son, Pundarika, and died soon afterwards, entering the Sambhogakaya of Buddhahood. Topic. Chilupa, Kalakakrapada There are currently two main traditions of Kalakakra, the Ra lineage Wiley, RVA Lugs, and the DRO lineage Wiley, Bro Lugs. Although there were many translations of the Kalakakra texts from Sanskrit into Tibetan, the Ra and Dro translations are considered to be the most reliable more about the two lineages below. The two lineages offer slightly differing accounts of how the Kalakakra teachings returned to India from Shamhala. In both traditions, the Kalakakra and its related commentaries sometimes referred to as the Bodhisattva's corpus were returned to India in 966 CE by an Indian pandit. In the Ra tradition this figure is known as Chilupa, and in the Dro tradition as Kalakakrapada the Greater. 
Scholars such as Helmut Hoffmann have suggested they are the same person. The first masters of the tradition disguised themselves with pseudonyms, so the Indian oral traditions recorded by the Tibetans contain a mass of contradictions. Chilupa, Kalakakrapada is said to have set out to receive the Kalakakra teachings in Shamhala, along the journey to which he encountered the Kulika Shamhala king Durjaya manifesting as Manjusri, who conferred the Kalakakra initiation on him, based on his pure motivation. Upon returning to India, Chilupa, Kalakakrapada is said to have defeated in debate Nadapada, Tib. Naropa, abbot of Nalanda, a great centre of Buddhist thought at that time. Chilupa, Kalakakrapada then initiated Nadapada who became known as Kalakakrapada the Lesser into the Kalakakra, and the tradition thereafter in India and Tibet stems from these two. Nadapada established the teachings as legitimate in the eyes of the Nalanda community, and initiated into the Kalakakra such masters as Atisa, who, in turn, initiated the Kalakakra master Pindo Acharya, Tib. Pitopa. A Tibetan history, the Dpag Bsam Ljon Bzang, as well as architectural evidence, indicates that the Ratnagiri, Adisha Mahavihara was an important centre for the dissemination of the Kalakakra Tantra in India. The Kalakakra tradition, along with all Buddhism, vanished from India in the wake of the Muslim invasions, surviving only in Nepal. Topic. Spread to Tibet The DRO lineage was established in Tibet by a Kashmiri disciple of Nalandapa named Pandita Samanatha, who travelled to Tibet in 1027 or 1064 CE, depending on the calendar used, and his translator DRO Lotsawa Sherap Drak Wiley, Bro Lo Tsa Bar Shes Rab Grags, from which it takes its name. The Ra lineage was brought to Tibet by another Kashmiri disciple of Nadapada named Samantashri, and translated by Ra Lotsawa Chorap Wiley, Rwa Lo Tsa Bar Chos Rab. The Ra lineage became particularly important in the Sakya school of Tibetan Buddhism, where it was held by such prominent masters as Sakya Pandita (1182–1251), Drogon Chogyal Phagpa (1235–1280), Bhutan Rinchen Drup (1290–1364), and Dolpopa Sherap Gyeltsen (1292–1361). The latter two, both of whom also held the DRO lineage, are particularly well known expositors of the Kalakakra in Tibet, the practice of which is said to have greatly informed Dolpopa's exposition of Shentong. A strong emphasis on Kalakakra practice and exposition of the Zhentong view were the principal distinguishing characteristics of the Jonang school that traces its roots to Dolpopa Sherap Gyeltsen. The teaching of the Kalakakra was further advanced by the great Jonang scholar Taranatha (1575–1634). In the 17th century, the government of the fifth Dalai Lama outlawed the Jonang school, closing down or forcibly converting most of its monasteries. The writings of Dolpopa Sherab Gyaltsen, Taranatha, and other prominent Zhentong scholars were banned. Ironically, it was also at this time that the Gelug school absorbed much of the Jonang Kalakakra tradition. Today, Kalakakra is practiced by all schools of Tibetan Buddhism, although it appears most prominently in the Gelug lineage. It is the main tantric practice for the Jonangpa, whose school persists to this day with a small number of monasteries in Kham, Qinghai and Sichuan. Efforts are underway to have the Jonang tradition be recognized officially as a fifth tradition of Tibetan Buddhism. Topic: <laughs> Practice. Topic: 
Initiation As in all Vajrayana practices, the Kalachakra initiations empower the disciple to practice the Kalachakra Tantra in the service of attaining Buddhahood. There are two main sets of initiations in Kalachakra, eleven in all. The first of these two sets concerns preparation for the generation stage meditations of Kalachakra. The second concerns preparation for the completion stage meditations known as the six yogas of Kalachakra. Attendees who don't intend to carry out the practice are often only given the lower seven initiations. The Kalachakra Sand Mandala is dedicated to both individual and world peace and physical balance. The Dalai Lama explains, it is a way of planting a seed, and the seed will have karmic effect. One doesn't need to be present at the Kalachakra ceremony in order to receive its benefits. <laughs> Kalachakra practice today in the Tibetan Buddhist schools Bhutan Rinchen Drup had considerable influence on the later development of the Gelug and Sakya traditions of Kalakakra and Dolpopa on the development of the Jonang tradition on which the Kagyu, Nyingma, and the Zapa branch of the Sakya draw. The Nyingma and Kagyu rely heavily on the extensive, Jonang influenced Kalakakra commentaries of Jamgan Ju Mipham Gyacho and Jamgan Kongtral, both of whom took a strong interest in the tradition. The Zapa branch of the Sakya maintain the practice lineage for the six branch yoga of Kalakakra in the Jonang tradition. There were many other influences and much cross fertilization between the different traditions, and indeed the Dalai Lama asserted that it is acceptable for those initiated in one Kalakakra tradition to practice in others. Gelugpa The Dalai Lamas have had specific interest in the Kalakakra practice, particularly the first, second, seventh, eighth, and the current 14th Dalai Lamas. The present Dalai Lama has given over 30 Kalakakra initiations all over the world, and is the most prominent Kalakakra lineage holder alive today. Billed as the Kalakakra for World Peace, they draw tens of thousands of people. Generally, it is unusual for tantric initiations to be given to large public assemblages, but the Kalakakra has always been an exception. The Dalai Lama, Kalu Rinpoche, and others have stated that the public exposition of this tantra is necessary in the current degenerate age. The initiation may be received simply as a blessing for the majority of those attending, however, many of the more qualified attendees do take the commitments and subsequently engage in the practice. Kalakakra initiations given by 14 Dalai Lama, 1. Norbu Linka, Lhasa, Tibet, in May 1954 2. Norbu Linka, Lhasa, Tibet, in April 1956 3. Dharamshala, India, in March 1974. Bailakup, South India, in May 1971 5. Bodh Gaya, India, in January 1974 6. Leh, Ladakh, India, in September 1976-7. Deer Park Buddhist Center, Madison, Wisconsin, USA, in July 1981-8. Durang, Arunachal Pradesh, India, in April 1983-9. Lahail and Spiti, India, in August 1983-10. Ricken, Switzerland, in July 1985-11. Bodh Gaya, India, in December 1985-12. Zanska, Ladakh, India, in July 1988-13. Los Angeles, USA, in July 1989-14. Sarnath, India, in December 1990-15. New York, USA, in October 
Kalpa, Himachal Pradesh, India, in August 1992-17. Gangtok, Sikkim, India, in April 1993-18. Jispa, H.P., India, in August 1994-19. Barcelona, Spain, in December 1994-20. Mundigard, South India, in January 1995-21. Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia, in August 1995-22. Tabo, H.P., India, in June 1996-23. Sydney, Australia, in September 1996-24. Salagara, West Bengal, India, in December 1996-25. Bloomington, Indiana, USA, in August 1999-26. Key Monastery, Speedy, Himachal Pradesh, India, in August 2000-27. Graz, Austria, in October 2002. 28. Bodh Gaya, Bihar, India, in January 2003. 29. Toronto, Canada, in April 2004. 30. Amaravati, India in January 2006. 31. Washington DC, USA, in July 2011. 32. Bodh Gaya, India, in January 2012. 33. Leh Ladakh, India July 2014-34. Bodh Gaya, Bihar, India, in January 2017. The 33rd Kalachakra ceremony was held in Leh town of Jammu and Kashmir, India from July 3 to July 12, 2014. About 150,000 devotees and 350,000 tourists were expected to participate in the festival. Kirti Senshab Rinpoche, 1926-2006, the 9th Jetsundamba Kutatu, Jado Rinpoche and the late Gen Lamrimpa, D. 2003, were also among prominent Gelugpa Kalakakra masters. Topic. Kagyu The Kalakakra tradition practiced in the Kama Kagyu and Shangpa Kagyu schools is derived from the Jonang tradition and was largely systematized by Jamgon Kongchul, who wrote the text that is now used for empowerment. The second and third Jamgon Kongtrul (1954–1992) were also prominent Kalakakra lineage holders, with the third Jamgon Kongtrul giving the initiation publicly in North America on at least one occasion. Toronto, 1990. The chief Kalakakra lineage holder for the Kagyu lineage was Kalu Rinpoche (1905–1990), who gave the initiation several times in Tibet, in. India, Europe and North America e.g., New York 1982. Upon his death, this mantle was assumed by his heart-son, Bakatal Ku Rinpoche 1940-2004, who in turn passed it on to Kenpo Lodro Donyo Rinpoche. Bakar Monastery, of which Donyo Rinpoche is now the head, features a Kalakakra stupa and is a prominent retreat center for Kalakakra practice in the Kagyu lineage. Tenga Rinpoche was also a prominent Kagyu holder of the Kalakakra. He gave the initiation in Grabnik, Poland in August, 2005. Lepon Sechu performed Kalakakra initiations and built Kalakakra stupa in Karma Guan Buddhist Center in southern Spain. Another prominent Kalakakra master is the second Beru Kyanse. Chogyam Trungpa, while not a noted Kalakakra master, became increasingly involved later in his life with what he termed Shamhala teachings, derived in part from the Kalakakra tradition, in particular, the mind terma which he received from the Kalki. Nyingma <inaudible> 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 
Among the prominent recent and contemporary Nyingma Kalakakra masters are Zhongzha Kyantse Choki Lodro (1894–1959), Dilgo Kyantse (1910–1991), and Pena Rinpoche (1932–2009). Topic Sakya. Sakya Trizin, the present head of the Sakya lineage, has given the Kalakakra initiation many times and is a recognized master of the practice. The Sakya master He Chogye Trichin Rinpoche is one of the main holders of the Kalakakra teachings. Chogye Rinpoche is the head of the Sharpa school, one of the three main schools of the Sakya tradition of Tibetan Buddhism. One of the previous Chogye Trichin Rinpoches, Kyanrab Chogye (1436–97), beheld the sustained vision of the female tantric deity Vajrayogini at Drak Yewa in central Tibet, and received extensive teachings and initiations directly from her. Two forms of Vajrayogini appeared out of the face of the rocks at Drak Yewa, one red in color and the other white, and they bestowed the Kalakakra initiation on Kyanrab Choje. When he asked if there was any proof of this, his attendant showed the master the kusha grass that Kyanrab Choje brought back with him from the initiation. It was unlike any kusha grass found in this world, with rainbow lights sparkling up and down the length of the dried blades of grass. This direct lineage from Vajrayogini is the shortest, the most recent and direct, lineage of the Kalakakra empowerment and teachings that exists in this world. In addition to being known as the emanation of Manjushri, Kyanrab Choje had previously been born as many of the kings of Shamhala as well as numerous Buddhist masters of India. These are some indications of his unique relationship to the Kalakakra tradition. Chogye Trichin Rinpoche is the holder of six different Kalakakra initiations, four of which, the Bulug, Jonang, Maitri Gyatsha, and Domjung, are contained within the Gyud Kuntu, the collection of tantras compiled by Jamyang Kyantse Wangpo and his disciple Lota Wangpo. Rinpoche has offered all six of these empowerments to Sakya Trizin, the head of the Sakya school of Tibetan Buddhism. Rinpoche has given the Kalakakra initiation in Tibet, Mustang, Kathmandu, Malaysia, the United States, Taiwan, and Spain, and is widely regarded as a definitive authority on Kalakakra. In 1988 he traveled to the United States, giving the initiation and complete instructions in the practice of the six-branch Vajrayoga of Kalakakra according to the Jonangpa tradition in Boston. Chogye Rinpoche has completed extensive retreat in the practice of Kalakakra, particularly of the six-branch yoga in the tradition of the Jonangpa school according to Jetson Taranatha. In this way, Chogye Rinpoche has carried on the tradition of his predecessor Kyanrab Chogye, the incarnation of the Shamhala kings who received the Kalakakra initiation from Vajrayogini herself. When Chogye Rinpoche was young, one of his teachers dreamed that Rinpoche was the son of the king of Shamhala, the pure land that upholds the tradition of Kalakakra. See biography of Chogye Trichin Rinpoche in Parting from the Four Attachments. Snow Lion Publications, 2003. Topic: <laughs> Jonang Once deemed heretical by the fifth Dalai Lama and successors, and even thought to be extinct, the Jonang tradition has in fact survived and is now officially recognized by the Tibetan government in exile as a fifth school of Tibetan Buddhism. Jonang is particularly important in that it has preserved the Kalakakra practice lineage, especially of the completion stage practices. In fact, the Kalakakra is the main tantric practice in the Jonang tradition. 
Kenpo Kunga Shara Brinpoche is one contemporary Jonangpa master of Kalachakra. Kentral Rinpoche who is based in Australia is another Kalachakra teacher who is travelling the world giving teachings and empowerments. Iconography Tantric iconography including sharp weapons, shields, and corpses similarly appears in conflict with those tenets of non-violence but instead represent the transmutation of aggression into a method for overcoming illusion and ego. Both Kalakakra and his Dharmapala protector Vajravega hold a sword and shield in their paired second right and left hands. This is an expression of the Buddha's triumph over the attack of Mara and his protection of all sentient beings. Symbolism researcher Robert Beer writes the following about tantric iconography of weapons and mentions the charnel ground. Many of these weapons and implements have their origins in the wrathful arena of the battlefield and the funereal realm of the charnel grounds. As primal images of destruction, slaughter, sacrifice, and necromancy these weapons were wrested from the hands of the evil and turned, as symbols, against the ultimate root of evil, the self-cherishing conceptual identity that gives rise to the five poisons of ignorance, desire, hatred, pride, and jealousy. In the hands of Siddhas, Dakinis, wrathful and semi-wrathful Yidam deities, protective deities or Dharmapalas these implements became pure symbols, weapons of transformation, and an expression of the deity's wrathful compassion which mercilessly destroys the manifold illusions of the inflated human ego. <laughs> See also